All right, so we're here with Colorado's best attorney, Phil Harding, and today we're going over a real case that Phil handled regarding something that we see a lot here in Colorado, bicycles and cars. When they get together, that is never a good thing, Phil. Yeah, I want to go over this real-life case, um, and this is where a car ran into a bicyclist. We're going to see what laws apply. We're going to talk about subrogation, mm -hmm. right? That means paying back your health insurance, and we're going to look about stacking insurance policies. Okay. You know what? So what happens here? The car runs into a pedestrian or a bicyclist. Yeah, yeah. What happens after that point? Let's go over the facts, and then uh, some of it are unique. First of all, um, a person, and here are the facts, the person is driving a friend's car, mm -hmm. right? Very important. You don't think it is, but if you're driving someone else's car, there's two levels of insurance. He hits my guy. Um, my guy has a broken femur. He's off work for two months, and he has about $70,000 mm -hmm. in medical bills. Okay, so the question is, who's responsible um, for paying this injury? Yeah, for, and look, even if the guy that ran into you know my person came out and said it's a hundred percent my fault i've got a gazillion dollars in insurance you need to know that the other side writes one check and only one check at the very end so you have to use your health insurance everyone thinks that the at fault party writes the checks as it comes in no they write one check and only one check at the at the very end so what's this idea of insurance stacking what's the idea of stacking uh-huh all right so normally First of all, in Colorado, one out of six people driving has no insurance at, at all. Afterwards, state minimums are 25000 So with that, in this scenario, my guy would get hosed, right? So here's the stacking. Huh. First of all, um, you look at the owner of the car. Remember how I said a guy was borrowing his friend's car? So he was borrowing his car, even though he was, he was driving it, the owner of the car comes first. Next, the driver of the car. So this guy is driving his friend's car, his insurance on his car that's in the garage, you know, maybe even in North Glen, sure. <laughs> um, right? His comes next. Then you have something that's on your car insurance called uninsured, underinsured, but you'd probably say, wait a second, the guy's on a bike yeah. or he's a pedestrian. What about uninsured, underinsured? Very important insurance. Uninsured, underinsured covers you if you're walking, if you're on a skateboard, if you're hang gliding and a but if a car hits you, that's the key. So if you're injured by a car, your uninsured, underinsured follows you and protects you. It's, it's so important. And honestly. that's what you do for clients is you're going to walk them through this process because, I mean, I had no idea that you have to do all these things in, in a priority list. So what happens at the end? I mean, do you got to pay back? To the, to the health insurance? Yeah, yeah. So remember, use your health insurance, Medicaid, Medicare. But if you have health insurance, there is a law called Colorado's Make Whole Law that says mm. if you have to pay back your health insurance and you get the full policy limits from the bad guy, then it's presumed you are not made whole, so you don't have to pay back health insurance. So that $70,000, we may disappear. And he got all of this different insurance, right? Owner of the car, driver of the car, his own un uninsured, underinsured. But there are some weird laws. There are federal laws that may prevent this make whole law. You know, talk to an attorney. Medicaid, Medicare, you mm. got to send a proper notice. And especially on stacking of insurance, you cannot accept policy limits unless you get permission from your uninsured, underinsured. And the reason why they put it in is, what if Bill Gates ran into you <laughs> and only has 25000 They'll right. say, why would you accept 25000 Right? <laughs> you got to get permission. And if you don't, you're hosed. Can you negotiate with, uh, with the insurance? Yeah, with the subrogation, you can, absolutely. And you say... Look, my you wouldn't be getting any money if my client didn't hire me yeah. to get this thing. So bring down or we're not going to settle. So did you actually get him uh, the 70 that he needed to, to cover we his? We got him well, confidentiality, <laughs> we got him well past that. See, so he took care of him. Uh, okay, so what else, Phil? What, do we, what, do we all, we, what else do we need to know about this case? All right, um, so there's one other thing. There's something on your car called med pay, medical payments. Uh. And again, if you're, even if you're, if you're injured by a car, you can use those med pays to pay for your deductibles, mm. out of pockets. Just the, your insurance is so important. I want everyone to check tonight. Uninsured, underinsured, make sure you max that out. And if you have an umbrella, right, a uh, million dollars yeah, more of those. coverage, put, a, it's called an uninsured, underinsured rider on that. So now you have a million dollars of uninsured, underinsured. You okay, gotta be that. covered, right? I mean, you Absolutely. gotta be covered. I've looked at these things. All right, Phil, thank you for this uh, this report this morning. To reach uh, Harding and Associates directly, call 303-762-9500. You can get a free consultation anytime, and you can find Phil online at hlaw.com. And thanks again, Phil, for coming in here today and sponsoring the segment. We appreciate it. Thank you.